Ben, thanks for joining us here today. Lots of questions, so I'm going to jump right in. Can you start with a general overall view of the company? So Rise Gold Corp, our Rise Gold Corp owns the uh, Idaho, Maryland mine. It's in Grass Valley, California. And it's a uh, historic past producer. It was one of the United States' uh, greatest mines. It produced 2.4 million ounces and an average head grade of 17 grams per ton. Um, it was shut down in World War II by the U.S. government, along with uh, all the other gold mines in the United States. Yeah. Never really recovered from that. They went from producing 129,000 ounces of gold a year to 50,000 ounces of gold a year. And with the fixed price of gold at $35 and high inflation, it was closed and never reopened. That's where it sits now. We bought it a year and a half ago and uh, just started doing the drilling. So. Um, just on that, how long was the process of putting this deal together to buy? It, it took quite a while, and, yeah. and the interesting thing about this mine is that none of the drawings were ever published by the company. Basically, they Newmont owns all the property beside our mine, uh -huh. and they did at that time as well. So there's a lot of competition for real estate. So they didn't allow the USGS into the mine to study it, and so nothing was ever published on the mine workings. What we did find was that in 1942, right before they um, were forced to close the mine, yeah. they had just completed a major expansion to go from 1,000 tons a day oh, to 2,000 tons a day. Wow. So we thought, you know, that if they're already the second biggest low gold mine in the United States, you wouldn't double your production unless you thought uh, there was more to be mined there. And we bought on that basis, got the entire private library of drawings from the family, processed those over about six months and uh, made a 3D model out of it and uh, acquired more land around us to make sure that we had you know, land sufficient sure. for the future. Yeah, yeah. And uh, drilled one hole that uh, was released on January 3rd that was 12 grams per ton over 15 meters, uh, 8 meters true width and um, our drilling again now, just started drilling last month. Great history lesson there by the way, yeah. <laughs> congratulations. Um, the general question I'm going to be asking, which has also been tying into a specific question, uh, here we are in May 2018, um, that's obviously a big part of your focus. Can you also talk about what else you're going to be doing in general uh, uh, way for the rest of the year? But also I want to ask you about, uh, you just announced last month about uh, completing a $3.5 million financing. So give me a general and then start with a specific on what I just mentioned about the financing. Yeah, so the, so the focus uh, over the last year and a half was purchasing the property, doing the engineering work, doing the land purchases, and it's a bit different than uh, working in, in other places because this is all private land. Yeah. Uh, all of the things that we own, all the assets we own are private land. And so the acquisition of that land is necessary up front rather than um, staking a claim or, or leasing land from the government. So the first stage was buying that land, um, and now we have done that raise just last month, uh, $3.5 million. Uh, uh, an investor called Southern Arc Minerals um, put $2 million into their largest shareholder now. And they, they spent a long time doing due diligence, um, looking at uh, the property, the exploration potential, and especially um, the future permitting. So should it be drilled out and successful and eventually going to production, the key yeah. thing about this property, because it's private land, all the future permitting is done on the county level. So it's Nevada County, California. Right. So when you evaluate that, it's on the county level, not uh, on the state level. So it's Nevada County, not California State, that decides whether or not this would eventually go. But, are you, but you are starting with state level, correct? And then you're moving. So sorry. Yeah. Explain, no, explain that a little because bit. Because it's because it's private land. Yeah. It's dealt, all the permitting is done on a, on a county level. And because this county has such a long mining history, yeah. mining is actually written right into the zoning codes. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, so for example, uh, the diamond drilling itself requires no permits at all. Uh, you, can, you can drill so long as you meet uh, zoning regulations such as like noise and things like that. And then when it comes to mining, mining, underground mining is an allowed use, yeah. subject to a use permit. So 
in order to um, get that use permit, they have to comply with California Environmental Quality Act. Sure. Is it called CEQA? Yeah. But the county is a lead agency. They have to follow the procedures laid out in CEQA, but California State has no discretionary involvement. Well, I, uh, Ben, I wish you uh, with luck with this. We've been talking with uh, Ben Mossman, who's the President, Director, and CEO of Rise Gold Corp, and also has given me a wonderful history lesson today, because I did not know that about gold mines uh, at the beginning of World War II. Thank you, Ben. Thanks Cheers. Best of luck.